and that's how you can balance the Eiffel Tower on one side with just your finger. Okay, I'm starting to think you're on steroids. It's beyond. Anything is possible with enough effort. Welcome to the new elimination area U7. Anyways, for this elimination, we got a total of 18 votes. Which is 5 votes less than last time. Now we can read hate comments. Grelid says, Valdez for waving the blue flag. Wow, I gives you our a hack it's town ripoff. There is a spelling error in your hate comment. So I'm not even going to respond to it. Alex Perrin says, Valdez because it looks like he's surrendering and wants to be eliminated. Sorry, that was not my intention at all. Alex DK says, I vote for Valdez for waving a flag. That act is like from Hackett's town. Yeah, and what's so bad about it? Anyone can wave a flag. Valdez has reached the limit of three hate comments. Moving on. Oh, she says. Sandpoint because he is the least deserving out of everyone who has a chance getting into the single digits. And why exactly am I the least deserving of the single digit spots? I feel slightly offended by this. Noah R18 says. Sandpoint because he looks like he is doing stretching exercises. Wanna join Vic in the Elimination Show Character Exercise Squad? I probably would if I wasn't in this show. Miguel Mezon on YouTube says. Platinum, because somebody put platinum on your shirt. Oh no, I just got roasted. IJ says. Platinum because his shirt was made of platinum from poop. Literally. A study said metals like platinum have a high chance of appearing in poop. Well thanks for saying that. Now I'm totally grossed out. Christopher the Gamer says, Platinum because he is triggered. <laughs> Poisonous Dragon says, Wrangle because hashtag cut. Cut. Tokunator X says, Wrangle because he tried to punish the viewers in the trailer. I was only sticking to the script. I have no interest in punishing anyone. Sailor Moon Re Twilight Sunset Fan Media says, Cold Bay because someone spilled dark blue paint on his hair. Oh no, I just got roasted. Aeronosi says, Cold Bay because he looks like Pen from BFDI. Not sure if that was intended to be a roast. So I'm going to assume it isn't. Awesome Ben Gynero says, Anchor it, shut up. If this is about the population bragging, I'm done with that. Marla Squido Lobo says, Anchorage because hashtag Trigot. You spelled Tripid wrong. These viewers need to check their damn hate comments. Merlin Fazbear the Big Bear says, I vote for White Mountain because I have a cookie for him. Take the cookie jar to him. It's a chocolate chip cookie. Nice. I love cookies. And that's all of the hate comments. Now to read the votes. The first person safe is White Mountain, with one vote. The next four people safe are Anchorage, Cold Bay, Sandpoint, and Wrangle. With two votes each. Platinum and Valdez. You are the bottom two. Let's see who will not place in the single digits. And with that, Platinum is the last one safe, at three votes. And Valdez, with five votes. You're eliminated. Oh man. I was close. But I'm glad I made it this far in the game. <coughs> the next challenge is to run a hot dog stand. You will be split into three groups. The group that sells the least amount of hot dogs loses. Here are the groups. Why are we inside? I have no idea. If I could protest this, I would. But I don't think any customer would want to hear my protesting. Hey Watzla, are you okay? No, I'm not. I want to not rage so badly. But I know that any minute now something stupid is going to happen and I'll start raging again. Maybe you can try thinking of something relaxing. Like, you're in a place named after you, and you're in bed, and you get free breakfast every morning. It would be called Masilva's Bed and Breakfast.
What the hell did you just say to me, bitch? All I just said was, Wasilla's bed and breakfast. Dude, pull yourself together. Sorry, it happened again. What you both don't know is, Wasilla's bed and breakfast is a real place. But for some reason, it's located in Canick Fairview, and not my city. Sorry to hear that. I mean, I would also be pissed if my property was built somewhere else. And I remember Nick Fairview once told me that he was also pissed about his place called, Nick Knack Mud Shack, being built in your city. What the hell did you just say? Um. Um. I'm starting to get bored here. Yeah, it's been 30 minutes and not one customer. I actually thought this would happen, so I have an idea to attract customers. Hey everyone. Buy a hot dog and get a free autograph. Seriously, we haven't had a single customer. Cold Bay, go attract some customers. Me? But why me? Because I said so. White Mountain, go with him. But who's going to run a stand? I will. Just do it. And his main road merges with my main road with a section called Main Street. I also have a highway which also merges with Knick Fairview's main road. And him and I share the same museum at the Knick site. It's called, the Wasilla Knick Historical Society. And for a long time, before Knick Fairview and I were even cities, his name was just, Knick. Until he was renamed Knick Fairview in 2000. Okay, I hate to be nosy. But how do you know so much about him, and why do you guys even have some of each other's property and roads in each other's location? And share a historical museum named after the both of you? Well, I've never told anyone about this, but... Knick Fairview is my brother. Okay, we should have seen this coming a mile away. Agreed. The challenge is over. Now to see who lost. And it looks like group 1 is up for elimination. Alright viewers, the time is now. Vote anyone displayed on the screen below.